Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you a great mod that allows you to play with pretty much any render distance that you would like. And what I mean by this is that in vanilla Minecraft you can go to 32 render distance, or even if you install a mod like Optifine you can maybe get 64, but with this mod you can get to render distances like 128, 512, and even beyond. It's pretty incredible to look at and even works for the newest versions of Minecraft, so anyway let's go ahead and check it out. So about a year ago I showcased a mod pretty similar to this one, and this was the Far Plane 2 mod, and the Far Plane 2 mod mod along with this mod which is called Distant Horizons, both accomplish these insane render distances by adding what's called LODs or LODs to the game. And pretty much what these LODs are doing is just showing you the terrain in the distance at a less detailed resolution. And pretty much all games take advantage of this because you really don't notice this in the distance. I mean, you can tell a little bit if you really pay attention to it, but in general gameplay, you're really not going to see it all that often. And Distant Horizons accomplishes this by slowly lowering the detail the farther away terrain gets, because the farther away something is, the less pixels it takes up, and really, you just won't notice it all that often if its detail is lowered. And as you can see here, the same thing applies in Minecraft. Sure, you can notice a difference if you really pay attention, but in general gameplay, it looks pretty good. You're usually not going to be sitting there just zooming in on the distant terrain wishing it was higher resolution. For the most part, you'll just appreciate how far you can see. So here's a comparison, both the mod and the vanilla gameplay are sitting at 16 render distance, but the Distant Horizons render distance setting is set to 128. And with with the mod installed, you still set your vanilla render distance, which is going to be the blocks that are actually rendered, but then separate from that in the mods menus, you're going to change how far the render distance of the mod is. So if you really wanted to, you could play with this mod at a render distance of 2, and then just crank up the rest of the render distance from the mod, although I still would recommend having your actual render distance set to at least something like 8, because that'll give you the best detail possible. In fact, the higher your actual render distance is, the better the overall effect is going to be. When you're sitting around 16 render distance, the transition is practically seamless, and anything above that like 32 render distance starts to get to the point of diminishing returns. And something I really particularly love with the Distant Horizons mod is it works with other mods. So here you can see I'm using it with Terralith, which has amazing terrain generation, and being able to see that at, for example, 128 or even 256 render distance looks amazing. I mean, Terralith already looks really good with regular render distance, so when you turn it into something insane like this, it just couldn't get much better. And Distant Horizons also works in other dimensions, so here's an example of me using it in the nether along with the amplified nether mod And again, here's an example using it in the end with the nullscape mod So if you've been looking for a mod that can give you some pretty amazing render distance without completely killing your performance I would absolutely give this one a try and if you didn't notice I'm even using it with sodium so you can get a big performance boost from that and I wouldn't call this mod Particularly easy to run, but it's certainly easier to run than say the same render distance without the mod installed I didn't do any testing on a weak system, so I couldn't really tell tell you whether or not it performs good on that, but I would still think you could even use it on some lower render distances such as 32 to 64 and not notice too much of a performance drop. That'll do it for this video and let me know what you thought about this mod, and also if you're running on a weaker computer you should definitely give it a try and let me know how it goes. I'd definitely love to hear how this mod runs on lower end PCs, and if there's any other mods out there you think I should check out, go ahead and let me know and I'll be sure to take a look at them. And anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.